A GGT blood test is usually performed to check the levels of GGT, or gamma glutamyl transferase or gamma glutamyl transpeptidase, in blood. Gamma glutamyl transferase is a protein or an enzyme which occurs in the liver, gallbladder, kidneys, spleen, and pancreas. However, most of GGT present in blood is passed on by the liver. It is responsible for enhancing the metabolic rate of glutathione as well as transmission of peptides and amino acids to the cells of the body. A GGT test is also helpful in evaluating the precise cause of increased levels of ALP or alkaline phosphatase, which is an enzyme or protein needed for efficient metabolic activities in the body. ALP occurs in different tissues and parts of the body, including the liver kidneys, intestinal wall, bones, bile ducts, and placenta. Liver diseases and blockages in the bile duct and trigger an increase in the levels of GGT normal range and ALP, while bones disorders cause an increase in the levels of ALP only. When a GGT test results report a higher than normal levels of gamma glutamyl transferase enzyme, then it is usually an indication that some kind of pre-existing condition is harming the health of the liver. The test results however do not specify the exact condition that is causing liver damage. The GGT test may be ordered by a doctor if he or she observes high levels of ALP in a patient. The test may be carried out in addition to, or as a follow-up to, other kinds of liver enzyme function tests if an individual shows the signs and symptoms of liver damage or liver diseases like jaundice marked by yellowish hue of the skin and or the eyes, reduced levels of energy, excessive fatigue, outflow of urine that is dark in color, elimination of stool or feces that is light in color, Reduced or absent appetite. Itchy skin. Vomiting and nausea. Swelling or pain in the abdomen. A GGT blood test is typically performed after a person has fasted for a minimum of 8 hours. This is because the GGT levels tend to drop after meals. Individuals will be advised to stop the intake of medications which may be taken by the patient on a routine basis. It is so because certain medicines can affect the outcome or results of the GGT test. A nurse or a doctor will insert a needle attached to a syringe into a vein in the arm and then draw out a sample of blood. This procedure is known as a venipuncture. Most people will experience just a stinging sensation or a prick, while some may feel pain when the skin is punctured with the needle. Later, the affected site is covered with a small tiny strip of bandage to stop any bleeding. Patients may experience some throbbing at the site after the procedure is complete. The blood specimen is then taken to a lab for analysis. A GGT test is performed for the following reasons. To ascertain an underlying hepatobiliary disease, that is high levels of GGT. Hepatobiliary disease is regarded as the most sensitive enzymatic sign of liver disorder. To check the presence of bile duct conditions or liver diseases. The GGT test is often carried out along with other diagnostic tests like bilirubin, ALP, and ALT tests. It helps distinguish between underlying bile duct to liver conditions and bone-slash-skeletal abnormalities. It may also be performed to check or monitor for occult alcoholism or alcohol abuse. Drawing out blood from the arm for a GGT test comes with minimal risk to health problems or complications. The size of the arteries and veins tend to differ from one side of body to another, and from one person to another. Hence, drawing a blood sample from some individuals may be more problematic as compared to some others. If you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, Health Destination.